All right, guys, so I went up in size on my tires, 295 60s, which are about 34 inches. Um, I have another video on how it was hitting the crash bar here, but I was able to cut it off, and there's a whole deal about that. So check out my other video if you want information on that. Um, all right, so if you know, changing the size of the tire also changes the circumference of the tire, which changes the speedometer measurements on the tire. Okay, so through force scan, we're gonna fix that. There's a whole spreadsheet that kind of tells you what size, sorry, what codes to enter for whatever size tires you have. Um, this is gonna be in the BCM, the body control module. Click on it, you're gonna hit play. Sorry, where's the music there? Okay, it's gonna load. All right, so this is gonna be um, 726-121, right here. 726-1201, and it's that middle section of numbers. It needs to be changed to, if you have stock tires, it'll be that 099E. Stock tires are 275, 55s, 20s. Well, stock for my truck. 275, 55s, 20s, which were about 32 inches tall. Um, 33 inches, I did some uh, calculations and it, based on the spreadsheet that uh, Forescan provides through their awesome people that are working on these uh, datas and numbers and programming and writing and testing. Um, 33s are 09F2, 34s are 0A3B, and 35s are 0A94. Now these are my estimates based on that spreadsheet. Um, but if you know if you're if you, uh, I recommend you actually go out to the spreadsheet, click on the link, uh, type in your tire size, and look what number it gives you, and then test it also to see how it works. Okay, so mine, I'm going from 099E, which is about a 32 inch tire, to uh, 0A3B. 0A3. B. Sorry, not B, but B. 083B. And we're going to write. Continue, anyways, and see if it flashes here. It flashes off and on. Alright, so now we got to test it to make sure it worked. And it recommends you cycle engine also off and on. So we're going to cycle this off. Wait a little bit. Cycle it back on. Alright, so we're going to go driving around the neighborhood and see how, um, how using a GPS speedometer, see how it compares. Previously, it was about two to three miles off, depending on what speed you're going. Um, so, yeah, so this is an easy fix, guys. You can do it yourself. Um, and that's all we got to do is just test it. 